All right, everybody. All right, everybody. This is Joe Passion Unchained here. You saw this background a couple of videos ago, and so it makes sense that you would know where this is if you've seen that video. Uh, link in the description below. That was my London vlog. Um, this is in Phoenix. I'm here in Phoenix right now on a shoot. Last week I did the Tinder profile roast with one of my subscribers. Really excited to see what you guys think of that. Um, I haven't even recorded that yet. I recorded the London vlog, the intro to the London vlog and this one back to back. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm here in Phoenix. I'm about to go see my mom and then leave later in the day to go back to Austin. Uh, but the last two days I did a shoot with one client, um, two shoots back to back. He wanted as much variety as possible. He was actually more focused on Instagram than dating apps, which is not usually what I see. Usually I see more focus on dating apps than Instagram. Um, but he had everything on point. He had his fashion, his physique on point. He had his, um, he had his, uh, his, his wealth on point. And he was just an all around a great guy that was getting a lot of matches on dating apps already with crappy photos, but he wants to up those and he, wants to, he also wanted to up his Instagram game. And so we got some really juicy Instagram photos. Um, let me just check this, it's, it's almost out of battery. So <laughs> I gotta replace the batteries, but I've been uh, just waiting for it to die. Probably not a good idea. Um, but anyway, so I, I got to, to uh, Phoenix. There's a little bit of a hazard on the way. So um, my girlfriend, uh, Tracy, you've seen her in some of the videos. She drove me to the airport um, the morning of my flight, but it was raining and somebody had decided to just probably speed down. I don't know exactly what they did, but they sped down the highway, rolled over and killed themselves and blocked the highway on the way back from the airport. So I'm very, very grateful that I was able to get to the airport because a lot of people weren't if they came after me. Um, cause, but it was on the other side. So the other side of the highway going back from the airport, uh, somebody had killed themselves in a rollover, blocked everything. So she, when she went home, it, it, it should have taken 20 minutes, but it took five fucking hours. Like she, my flight was delayed. And even though my flight was delayed, um, she got home like right before I landed in Phoenix. <laughs> and that was a three hour flight. So I landed in Phoenix and like she had gotten home like just about then and it was just, crazy she was not happy um not at me of course but about the situation and I, she was just exhausted at the end of the day <laughs> i don't i can't even imagine uh but yeah so um that's that was kind of interesting but i got to to phoenix i um i stayed at a cafe because i couldn't really check in yet but then i i checked in and and then um no, no, no. I checked in at after. So I was just hopping from cafe to cafe with my bag. I have one main bag that I use. I want to do a review of it. It's the Peter McKinnon 35 liter travel bag. Fucking love that shit. I'm a huge fan of Peter McKinnon. Um, I have a lot of his stuff. Uh, I got a lot of his merch and stuff. My girlfriend actually bought me this bad boy a camera tool from uh, from him. And I have a bunch of other tools that he, that he uses. But because uh, he designed some great shit. Um, but yeah, so, so I was going from cafe to cafe my, my client actually met me at a cafe that, um, cause I was doing some scouting at the same time as working and, uh, we ended up doing some photos there. Um, and then I, I got notification that my place was, was ready to go in. So we just popped over here. I popped my bags and we w did the rest of the shoot. And, uh, we went to, um, the first shoot cause he got a VIP package, which is where you do two shoots and usually people spread those out. So if they're losing weight or they're gaining muscle, they can have some matches now and some matches later, but he wanted them both back to back and get as much variety as possible. And he was also a very well off client. Like I said, his wealth was on point. So, um, he might, he said he might even uh, get some more photos in Austin cause he's really focused on Instagram. He wants to get a lot of different variety. Just post on Instagram every week or twice a month. Um, so we went from, to a lot of different places around my Airbnb for the first day and, uh, which included, you know, walking shots. We got some eating shots, at this really nice restaurant. We got some, uh, what else did we do? The reading shot we did the second day. I don't remember. I'm going to put up a bunch of behind the scenes and, and then photos here just so you can see how the shoot went. And then after that, we went to, um, we went and we ate at the, the place that we got some photos at and went to a, a rooftop bar. That was really fun. Got some photos at all the places and uh, ended, ended the day on a high note. And then after that, the next day, I woke up, I went for a run, which has been really great to clear my mind. I'm working on my mental clutter right now. Um, just being on my phone all, all, the, all the time, messaging back and forth, because that's something that I've been really focusing on. Um, it really, it really plugs up my mind. And so, um, I actually, I, I got Tracy the day, the day that I came here, I ordered her, um, DoorDash 
just as like, hey, like I'm really grateful for you bringing me to the airport. I know you had a really hard, tough time getting home. I wanna make you feel appreciated. I wanna make you feel loved. So I got that for her. Um, but I was like, you know, I was checking my phone. I wanted to make sure she was okay and that she wasn't, you know, all stressed out. Cause um, you know, I care about her. And so that was on my mind the whole day. Next day I woke up, mental, mind still cluttered cause I was checking my phone the whole day and uh, going for a run just cleared all that shit up. I was like, I forgot how much it was awesome to go for a run. And uh, part of that was me. I actually brought my running shoes here to Phoenix, which is the first time I've done that on a shoot so I can actually run and enjoy myself without fucking my feet up. So I'm gonna have to do that more often. My, my, my running shoes, they pack uh, really, they pack better. So I'm gonna have to do that continuously. Uh, but yeah, second day we did everything near his place. Uh, he had a great apartment complex. He, um, he, uh, we did some at the apartment gym. We did some in his, in his apartment. He had a, a PC, so we helped, I helped him get some photos of him fixing his PC. We got some of him cooking on the grill. We, he actually cooked some burgers for us to eat, which was a really nice touch and, you know, filled me up during the day. Um, we got a bunch of photos around his apartment complex. I'm going to put a bunch of behind the scenes here and the results that we got so you can see. Uh, but that was a fun time as well, for sure. And um, I found out that he did not ever have... Indian food. <laughs> He's never had Indian food. So I was very surprised about that. And uh, I used that opportunity for us to go to Indian, which um, he offered to pay for, which is freaking awesome of him. And um, I find that the, the wealthier people are, this is something I've noticed, especially with my clients, but with, in general, the, the wealthier people are, the more generous they are and the more chill they are because um, money turns big problems into small problems. And uh, when you don't have any big problems in your life, it's really easy to be chill and relax. Now, of course, there's going to be big non-related money problems, but a lot of problems can be made smaller if you have a bunch of money to just throw at it. So um, he was a very chill guy, very, very generous. And it was a really fun time because he was also great to joke around with. He was really funny. So I always liked joking around with my clients um, and just jabbing at each other, poking, poking each other with our words in a fun way. So uh, that was a great time. We ended the night with uh, Indian food. I don't have any footage of the Indian food. I was just all footaged out, but I got a, gr a lot of great footage. I've been playing in the background of, of everything. That was a fun time. And got back here, um, backed up all the photos. I used two uh, one terabyte SSDs um, that I back up all my photos to when I'm on the run. That way I have them in three play. I have them on the computer. Yeah, I have them in three places. I have them on the computer. I have them on both SSDs. And if two of them blow up, then I have more. I have one, you know, it's still, still there. I learned from other people's mistakes on that. So um, got them all backed up, woke up, went for a run, got a coffee, and here I am <laughs> recording everything. I've been a little bit behind and I'm like, you know what, I have some time this morning. I'm gonna go record some footage, some of the stuff that I wanted to get done for you guys so you can see what, what shoots are like. You can see what it's like for me if you're interested in, in what it's like for me and get more of a connection with who I am and what I'm about and how I unchain my own passion and build a life I love. But also, if you're curious about unchaining your love life and building a love life that you love and you want a photo shoot for me, you can see a little bit more behind the scenes and how it works and get a little connected to me and feel like you know me a little bit before you invest in your shoot, if that makes you feel more comfortable. So that's why I do these videos. I want to feel like you guys can get a connection with me because it's not a small investment. And if you can know what I'm about and you can see a little bit more about it, then you can um, hopefully understand the process more and become more comfortable um, with the whole idea of it. So I uh, hope that helps. And also it just might inspire you to build your own life that you love. So if that's also a thing, if that's, if this helps you in that way, that's freaking amazing. Cause that's the whole point of passion unchained. I want to help people unchain their passion and build a life they love. So, um, there's so many people I see that just take by default, like the societal idea of what they're supposed to have, like white picket fence, two kids, or even not that just like a nine to five, and I'm not saying nine to fives are bad, but a lot of people don't want a nine to five, but they're so scared to take the plunge. And I want to help people um, do all that. I want to help people build a life they love in all aspects of their life, in their love life, in their business life, in their career, in, in everything, in their health. And um, right now, um, dating profile photo shoots and this, this channel are what I have, but I have a lot of plans for the next few decades even. So looking forward to helping you out. Subscribe if you haven't yet. At this point, we've probably reached 500 subscribers. <laughs> I'm recording this two weeks ago, but um, if we haven't, fucking subscribe. And if you also, if you're interested in a photo shoot, 
go ahead, click the link in the description below, um, and either book a call with me if you're ready, or check out my website, check out other work I've done, so you can see the other, what it involves. And if you're curious, um, check that out. Subscribe, you know, be, be a part of the, the community um, of content that I create, and, uh, and when you're ready, book a call with me, and we'll, we'll get it done. So, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Ciao.